everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to manage photos on your iPod, iPod Touch, or iPhone. In my last Copy Trans Photo video, I showed you how to add photos from the iPod to the computer and from the computer to the iPod. Now with this video, I'm going to show you how to add new photo albums and how to manage your photos so that you can see just the ones you want in a certain folder and not have to scroll through hundreds of them at the same time. So you can see here in the left panel, I have the iPod plugged in. Here's the camera roll, which is what they call the photos that you save from your iPod if you're viewing something on the internet or something like that. And then the photo library is the default location where iTunes would ordinarily put computer photos, you know, from your PC to the iPod. Now with Copy Trans Photo, it's easy to make a new album. All you have to do is click this little Create a New iPod Album button. Give it a name. I'm going to call it LOL because there's some photos from LOL Demotivator that I'm going to put in here. And you can see it pops it open right away and there's no photos in the album. That's a good thing because we haven't added any. Now in this right panel here, these are the photos that I currently have on my computer. If you look at this far right pane, there's a whole list the tree of folders on your desktop or on your server or on your hard disk that you can choose from to put on the computer to the photo album. So I'm going to just take some of these right here and that's in my pictures folder on the computer. Just right click copy to iPod and automatically it shows up in the folder that's selected on the left. Now you can select several at a time I just clicked on the top one, held down the shift key, and selected copy to iPod. Now you can also right click and say select all and it'll copy the entire album from the computer to the iPod. Now you can see it also ends up in the photo library on the iPod so you still have a full library when you add uh, pictures from your computer to the iPod but that's not a big deal because you can always remove them from there and it'll also remove them from the album but you can see it's at least in the right order in a subfolder so you can go through subfolders instead of looking through the entire photo library now to apply your changes all you do is click this little apply changes button up here it says, you are about to save the changes you made to your iPod and PC. Are you sure you want to apply the changes? I'm going to say yes. And now it's finished. To eject your iPod, just press this little eject button right here. It says the iPod Touch can now be safely removed. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.